G'day everyone and welcome back to Our Paranormal World. It's Paranormal News Time. August has brought us a Bigfoot sighting in Iowa in the US, an Indian boy who believes he's the reincarnation of a boy who died eight years ago, and a really creepy face behind a child on a slide in Mexico. Let's have a look at the paranormal news for August. Reincarnation. The story of Chandravir Shankwa, who claims to be the reincarnated spirit of a deceased boy in the Uttar Pradesh Mainori district in India, is a developing reincarnation case. Chandravir has claimed he was previously a boy named Rohit Kumar, who drowned at age 13 in a canal in 2013. Chandravir's father says his eight-year-old son had long spoken about reincarnation and also insisted on visiting the village where he believes he previously lived. However, Ramana Resh Shankwa was reluctant to take him to the village for fear of losing his son to his former family. Chandravir became increasingly insistent, however, and his father did eventually relent. On August 19, Chandravir met Pramod Kumar, the father of the deceased Rohit. Chandravir amazed the entire village by identifying his former sister and relaying tales of his previous life. He was taken to the school where Rohit had studied and teachers verified that he was answering questions as Rohit would have done. This is sure to be a reincarnation case which is further explored in the coming months and I will do my best to keep you updated on any developments. Ghost at Flint Castle Flint Castle in Wales is an English built castle which is now an historic site and dates back to King Edward I's campaign to conquer the Welsh. The castle's location was chosen specifically for its strategic position in northeastern Wales, and construction commenced in 1277, which, incidentally, is approximately 150 years after Keith Richards was born. Today, the site is publicly managed, and it receives visitors keen on exploring the ancient relic, who are free to wander around the grounds. On August 16th, a visitor to the site snapped some shots and was shocked to discover an odd image in one. That is this image here. He claims there was no one in the area at the time he took the photos, and he passed this photo along to paranormal investigator Lynn Murphy, who believes it may actually be a photograph of a replay of a moment from a previous time otherwise known as a residual haunting. She believes it shows a female figure, possibly holding a book. She also noted that she has visited the location herself and taken many photographs, some of which displayed some unusual blurring. So she does feel that there is some kind of energy at the site. I couldn't find any other references to ghostly occurrences at Flint Castle though. Some people have looked at this image online and believe it to simply be another visitor to the location, noting that it appears to be wearing shoes, some say tennis shoes, and one commentator even suggested that it's wearing motorbike riding gear, which may be causing that light reflection at the shoulders. But what do you think? Is this a paranormal capture or just an actual person? Bigfoot in Iowa. Twitter user Jeremiah Byron was on his morning walk in Whitewater Canyon in late July with his sister when he spotted this figure in the gully below. He pointed it out to his sister, who laughingly suggested it was an actual person and not some mythical cube covered hominid but Jeremiah has never listened to his sister and he wasn't about to start now. He posted the images to his Twitter account and remains quite convinced that he did in fact capture an image of the elusive Bigfoot who 
clearly also likes to work on his cardio fitness in the early morning hours. Which isn't as funny as it sounds because you may remember the Bigfoot spotted lurking outside a 24 hour gym in Ohio from my paranormal news back in May. Meaning that Bigfoot, or Bigfoots in general, prefer to cut a dashing figure as they pop out for their photo shoots. Although the quality of the images must truly appall them. Ghost in the playground. Playgrounds are often places where ghosts like to hang out. Maybe it's the good memories, or maybe they're just dodgy pervs. At any rate, a mother in Mexico was utterly shocked when she took a two second video of her daughter playing on playground equipment and found a creepy face appear in the shadows behind her. The video is literally two seconds long and there is only one shot of the face in question, so I've just used the one frame where the face appears here. Hernandez Blanca uploaded her video and her still shots to her Facebook page and the images grabbed a lot of attention. It's an interesting image because it's just a slide with a ladder and no other structure around it. And while some say they can see a foot on the ladder rung, it's very unclear. And that face appears so distorted and out of place there. Whatever it is, it's creepy. And the mother of the child was stunned and horrified when she reviewed her video. I'm really interested in your thoughts on this image. Let me know what you think down in the comments. The Walking Pants Video. Okay, so you can tell from the title of this news segment that this is pretty weird. It's a video which has gained a lot of attention online this month. As you can see, it shows a boy playing in the street with a pet rabbit. But off to the right of the screen, something super random happens. Have a look. There are no real details on the origins of this video other than it appears to have been recorded on a phone. And because personless pants are seen walking down the street much less often than pantless people, we probably have to assume that this is some really clever fake, right? Like maybe they're robotic? I'm not sure how easy it is to remove just the person but keep the pants using editing software for a video, but I am sure it's possible. At any rate, it's a super interesting video anyway. Personally, if I saw a pair of pants walking down the street, I'd be seeking some urgent mental health support in the form of a few stiff drinks. Okay, so my last news article is not so much paranormal as it is incredible. Researchers in France have used nerve stimulation to induce signs of consciousness in a patient who has been in a vegetative state for over 15 years after a car accident. It's generally accepted that the longer a person remains without consciousness, the less likely it is that any form of return to consciousness will ever occur. In fact, after a year without consciousness, waking at all is unlikely. The vagus nerve connects the brain to the heart, lungs and digestive system and studies on the vagus nerve have shown that stimulation of the nerve can provide assistance in cases of epilepsy and clinical depression. Dr Angela Siraju wondered if stimulation of the vagus nerve could affect any change in a patient with unresponsive wakefulness syndrome. To test the question, Dr. Siraju sought a patient who had been unresponsive for a long period, which would indicate then that any change was actually a result of their intervention. After a month of stimulation of the nerve with a milliamp of current, the patient was able to turn his head upon request follow a moving object with his eyes and show signs of recognition when a face moved into his view. 
Additionally, he appeared to remain awake longer when read to. EEGs showed an increase in brain activity as well as an increase in the metabolic activity of the cortexes, which indicate a need for more energy to fuel those cells. Incredibly, the patient was upgraded from a medical status of unresponsive to a new status of minimal consciousness. And the results of the test indicate that researchers will develop ways to further encourage brain repair, even in cases where all hope seems to have vanished. So I wanted to share this story with you because it is just extraordinary. And that is the paranormal news for August. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.